into my studio. As always, I'm the artist Theodora Agassa Leonti, painting with Zenart Supplies. And today, I'm gonna show you how to paint this underwater sin. So, let's start. I have spread water all over my paper, and then I dropped some uh, green and uh, blue ink. And now you see me uh, add in some salt because it makes an interesting uh, reaction and uh, it resembles water and uh, maybe the bottom of the ocean that's why I wanted to try it out it might seem a bit abstract but it's uh, it's kind of interesting I think it's worth to experiment always Now with my number two round brush from the miniature set, I'm going to paint the jellyfish. They are kind of transparent, that's why I am using white ink. And as you can see, I have um, a little pencil sketch underneath. I just wanted to make sure that I like uh, their placement and I know exactly where they're going to be but that's not necessarily you can uh, paint directly on paper if you feel confident enough A brush that I love uh, from the miniature set is uh, the number one ringer brush it, because it's perfect for little lines and fine details, uh, flyaway hairs and now I'm using it for all these uh, lines that uh, my jellyfish has. So now practically I only use the number one ringer brush from the miniature set for the outlines of the jellyfish. I found the jellyfish image in freeimages.com and as I've mentioned before it has so many images that are royalty free and
Now that I'm done with the jellyfish, I'm going to add a few corals at the bottom. The bottom of the ocean is colorful and has many plants, so now I'm starting by painting the white plant, but I'm going to add uh, more colors to it. later. Now I'm adding another white plant. And now I am beginning to add some yellow, some orange and some red to my palette and that is going to be the color for the corals. And now I'd like to create some interest at the top of the ocean where the water is a bit more transpired near the surface and I'm adding some water splashes just experimenting a bit and if you are impatient like me you can always use a hairdryer to make your painting dry faster and now I'm mixing some white ink and I'm re-adding it at the surface of the ocean because it's more transparent and uh, I need to create that illusion As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Until next time, I hope you're all well.